Um, one more question? Um, I've got the manifesting down in some areas really well, and I'm very happy with that, and I'd like to keep that rolling. Where I'd like to get better is I pick up on the feelings, as in, in the body, but not necessarily the emotion that created the feeling, if you know what I mean, what preceded the manifestation in the body. And it could be just a feeling in the body. So I'd like to get better at understanding the emotion so I can interact earlier. What he's talking about is his guidance system, his emotional guidance system, because he has become, you all have, a vibrational version that he may or may not, in any moment of time, be keeping up with. And so what he's telling us is that sometimes he believes, because of manifestations that occur later, that there may have been some emotional indicators that he's been missing because he's not been a vibrational match to what he is wanting. So we always say that the fastest way to enhance your awareness of what you're doing emotionally is to talk more about what you want, more specifically about what you want because it will ferret out what your habit of vibration is in relationship to it. In other words, if you say, I don't want anything, here's a better way of explaining it to you. If you really want something and you're really not a match to it, you can really feel it. If you sort of want it and you're not a match to it, you sort of feel it. So by increasing your awareness of what you want, you will enhance your conscious awareness of where you are vibrationally in relationship to it. Okay. So just talk about what you want more. Yeah. There's another thing you can do, and that is meditation. Do you meditate? I do, I do, and I've actually got quite good, especially at relieving uh, temporary ailments uh, almost instantly, which has been great. The nice thing about meditation is that when you quiet your mind, you stop thought, and when you stop thought, you stop any resistance and when you stop resistance your vibration raises then when you come out of meditation if you move back into a thought that disallows that high vibration you feel it in a stronger way so the combination of talking more about what you want and meditating will help you to feel do you like the idea of having a guidance system absolutely does it make sense to you that your emotions would be the indication of alignment or disallowing of alignment yes. of allowing or resistance yes. of harmony or disharmony of matching vibrations or unmatching vibrations of accord or discord in other words doesn't it make perfect sense yes, it does. and so doesn't it seem logical that as you move through life and you keep asking and asking and asking that if you don't keep up with what you're asking, that there could be a crevasse or a gap between who you've become and who you're allowing yourself to be. So you're saying, well, I accept that the gap is there. I just don't notice that it's there. And we say, we think that maybe it's easy to become complacent about negative emotion because you just get used to it. But when you accept that negative emotion is guidance, does it make sense that you could set an objective that goes something like, I want to be aware of what I'm feeling? Mm. Does that make sense that you would then be more aware of what you're feeling? Yes. I want to feel good. I want to be aware of what I'm feeling. What do you think would happen if you set forth that intention? I want to be aware of what I'm feeling. It would sharpen your awareness, certainly. But what's the next thing that would happen? You'd have a little bit of a rough ride for a while. People would say to us, Abraham, is it normal for all hell to break loose in my life when I start doing this work? And we say, yes, in the beginning. Because as you talk more and more about what you want, your relationship with that becomes a starker contrast and you feel it more, you see. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would begin by changing the conversation. Instead of saying, I don't feel things until they manifest, we would say there are two ways for me to know where I'm headed one is the manifestation that ensues but the other is the way I feel along the way because we don't believe that you are not aware of your emotion we think that you are just grinning and bearing it we think you've trained yourself like so many people to just sort of tough it out and that is the equivalent of saying I know I have guidance but I prefer not to use it 
because I think that I should be able to take the manifestation that comes. And we would say something different. We would say, I have guidance and I intend to use it. Right. Do you believe that contrast causes expansion? Definitely. Do you believe that expansion is inevitable? Yes. Do you believe that it is constant? Yes. Do you believe that it is possible to stay up with your expansion? Do you think it's possible? It's definitely to... possible. You think so? Yeah, we don't always, but it's definitely possible. I mean, we have to have the contrast so we can appreciate the gap too. And I've had that. You see, we don't think it's possible to stay up with expansion. Oh, you mean all the time? Ever. Ever? Really? And so we want we... you to like that. How do we get things? And we think that the fact that you think you should is at the basis of your not being aware that you're not. I see what you're saying. That's really big. It goes like this. So contrast causes you to ask for something more than you are. And at first, this feels off to you. It feels weird to you because it's not your habit of vibration. This is more your habit of vibration. This was just a rocket, a sort of freaky rocket that was born out of this contrasting experience. So now you look over at what you want. You talk about it. You think more about it. You try to become a vibrational match to it. You give it more air time, more conversation. You get general about it. And before you know it, without very much work, you become more a vibrational match to that than you are to what preceded it. And so now you're a match to it and you click into place. And what's in your vortex moves into your grid and you have a manifestation. And it feels really good for that long. But then, along with this new manifestation, with this new realization, you also now have a new set of contrasting experiences that is causing you to launch another rocket of desire to which you are not immediately a vibrational match. So now you look at it, you think about it, you talk about it, you try to become a match to it, you feel your way to it, you manage to feel normal in that, and now you click into place vibrationally, and now there is a manifestation. It moves from your vortex into your grid and you realize it. Others around you see it too. And you feel exceptionally wonderful for about that long. But along with that manifestation came another set of contrasting experiences, which caused you to launch another rocket of desire to which you are not a vibrational match. This is going to take a while. So the point that we're making here is that when you make peace, with this delicious journey. In other words, everything's just the way you knew it would be. You knew it was a three-step process. You knew that contrast would inspire the asking. And you knew that you would not immediately be a vibrational match to that asking, but you knew that the source within you would. You knew that step one was your job of sifting through the contrast and step two would be the job of source and your inner being to be a vibrational match, an immediate vibrational match to what you're asking for. When you ask, it is given vibrationally every time immediately. And then you knew that your work was step three, that you must find somehow, some way to become a vibrational match to this new expansion. And you knew that it would take focus because your focus is all over the place. You knew it would take focus because it's not something that is natural or normal to you. You knew you would have to think about it. You knew that it would be an acquired taste. You knew that you would find your way to it, but you knew you could do it. And when you did, not only did you feel the reward of alignment, but you felt the compounded reward of manifestation saying, look what you have done. Look what you have created look what you have brought into realization look what you have manifested and now look where you stand in still a contrasting environment which will cause you to give birth to yet another and another and another we want so much for you to feel the excellence of of knowing that you are an eternal being and that you're not ever going to get it done and that it's not only okay for you to not be standing in complete alignment at all times. It's not even remotely normal and it's completely impossible. You will not ever stand in complete alignment with all that you have become. Well, Abraham, what about when I reemerge into non-physical? Don't I then become a perfect vibrational match to the all that I am? Yes, you do. But you are still then from that vantage point, giving your undivided attention to those who are continuing about the things that were important to you. Do you get it that you are eternal? And yes. do you get it that you are good? And do you understand that this is a time space reality that really is the leading edge of creation? And do you understand that the source within you is creating with you and through you? 
And do you understand that so many of the impulses you receive are co-creative impulses that you're receiving from that connection? If there's anything that we want you to take away from this specific conversation, it's that it's really a good thing that I get to feel some negative emotion because negative emotion is my indication that I've moved beyond where I am. And now I have a sort of immediate path to work upon sort of like one day Esther was dusting in Etagere and it had all kinds of beautiful things that Jerry and Esther had gathered from around the world and when she dusted the new shelf slid off its little peg and the top shelf fell onto the second shelf and the second shelf fell onto the next shelf and most everything on it broke and Jerry was other in the other room he heard the crashing and he said to Esther who is always in bare feet stand still don't move and as he came running Esther was standing there with glass all around feeling embarrassed about what she had done because treasures were there in a shatter all around her and Jerry said the most profound thing that you were born knowing but many of you have forgotten oh good something else to buy <laughs> A reason to focus a reason to shop a, a, a reason to flow energy a reason to flow dollars into the economy in other words always a reason you're always moving forward and so we really believe that now we've had this conversation and you have now as a result of this conversation given yourself permission to feel negative emotion because it's not only okay it's a delicious part of the whole equation of creation that you'll catch glimpses of your discord before it manifests into something that is more difficult to come back from. Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. Now what? Do you believe that you are the creator of your own experience? Are you a vibrational being in a vibrational universe? Can you feel the vibrational nature of that which is you? Do you like to know that you are vibrational? Do you like interpreting vibration? You like interpreting it through your solar plexus? Do you like interpreting emotionally what the vibrational content of your point of attraction is? Do you like being aware of how you're feeling and moving it on purpose? Do you like being aware of how you're feeling and then watching the evidence come back to you? Do you like being aware of how you're feeling and watching the evidence come back to you and then modifying deliberately how you're feeling and watching different evidence come back to you? Do you like the invincibility that you are upon? Can you feel the appreciation that source feels for where you are, no matter where it is? Can you feel the support system that you have? Do you know how many non-physical eyes are on you? Do you know how much awareness there is of what you're asking for and where you stand in relationship to it and what the exact path of least resistance is from where you are to where you want to be and do you know how patient source is in understanding that you might not take the path of least resistance you might take the path of most resistance but in any case another path will unfold and another and another and another do you like knowing that there's no possible way that you will not get to where you want to be once you know that?